Hey, what's up, guys? Warlux Will back here, and today we are going to be playing some Even Shaman. Um, Even Shaman is actually a pretty solid deck. Uh, according to Temple Storm, it is currently the best wild deck in the format. It's this and then Pirate Rogue, go figure, two aggro classes, two brain dead decks. <laughs> um, no, but um, I can't I can't see why they are the best. They are, I wouldn't say miles ahead of everything else. I just think they are so fast to the point where there's like one deck I think in the current format that like really has decent matchups against both of them being Free Shaman, but Free Shaman is kind of bad against a lot of the other decks. So I can see why these two decks are at the top. Besides that, why are we playing even Shaman? I am really tired. I slept an hour last night, or I guess I should say this morning. I slept between five and six a.m. this morning. That's it. So I am very tired. Seeing that it's uh, twelve a.m., so do the math. <laughs> That's like, or it's actually close to one a.m. I've almost been awake for like, no, I'm, yeah, 19 hours. Um, and then I was woke up really early the day before that. Ignore that. I'm just exhausted. Uh, anyways, though. Um, yes, yeah, so we're playing even Shaman. How about let's just play some big things, ideally some Giga Totems, and let's see how this goes. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with this intro. Let's just, let's just keep the first game. All right. So first matchup, mage. I'm gonna go with it's probably secret mage. I'm gonna keep. I think these. I think they're solid keeps. Eel is pretty solid. Devolve can devolve some big things that he plays. Totem golem. I, th I think it's coin totem golem turn one. Uh, coin totem golem turn one is not ideal. Just coin this. It's test for test a secret coin. around rigged for games if he trades hero powers we know we know it's rigged for games which is why i want to do this play um yeah it's not rigged for games that's or it could still be rigged for games but i'm not exactly sure uh here the play is going to be to attack base This is almost guaranteed rigged for games, that means. Yeah, it's either rigged for games or ice block. He had the ideal start, and I don't know why he... He should just attack hero powered, uh, if I'm being honest. I would have a 3-4, but he would have three more cards. Yeah, there it is. Uh, ideal draws... Oh, so let's say ideal car draws uh, carving chisel. Um, again, we want to... We kind of have to punch him in the face every single turn from here on out. So, that's going to be interesting. Um, depending on what he plays here, it might just be L Flame Tongue Attack Totemic. That's so bad for me. That is so good for me. Hopefully I get Taunt. Ooh, shit, that's a good draw. Uh, I have Devolve for next turn. Maybe he plays a second once I get double default value. That would be kind of dope. I swear this game is not pre-recorded. I fucking promise. Alright. These are all big as fuck now. Well, big as fuck. They're all decently sized now. Um, I should be able to continuously get damage in. Ideally, ideal draw here would probably be like Splitting Axe, Thing from Below. Um, there's a couple other good cards to draw. Splitting Axe would be ideal, like the best draw, I'm pretty sure, though. It's because he probably kills this. I can go this into Splitting Axe, get a whole huge board, and then punch, like, base. If he doesn't trade into this, oh, uh, he's trading into the. Alright, I'm fine with that as well, actually. I kind of wish that the um, totem I'm currently holding buffed it, but what can you do? Oh my fucking god, how do I beat this? Okay, well, that was the card I said would be a really good draw. Alright, 
Um, what does this do? So you cast a spell at a random. So I guess it's trade there. Do that. And here. Yeah, I want to avoid rigged fair games. Oh, those were two insane buffs. Uh, actually, no, never mind. Uh, I just realized it's. Uh, no, but how he trades into one. This is still kills the other one. So that's actually still pretty good. As long as these don't kill these. Um, that is a little bit of a problem, but who knows? I guess Frostbite could be a decent draw as well. Yeah. We're not in the perfect position, but we're not like. The best buff was actually these two, because this way it traded into both of those, and we were stupid far ahead. But as it stands, I mean... The fact is, everything surviving at 1 HP is... Omega tilting. Like this, which really sucks. Those are okay draws. I mean, this trades into this now. This trades into this. I take five more damage. I can then do this, this. Uh, We're just in an honestly a rough position. We have managed to delay the rigged fair games for quite some time, which is pretty good. Um, so this for each frozen enemy. Interesting card. Oh, that was created at random off that guy, right? All right, well, we have a 10-8. Takes this plus something else to kill it. I think I think we should potentially win this game, but playing top deck mode is not fun in this matchup. That is for damn sure. This deal, there's no deal eight spell, right? That means that must be ice block. Oh, it wasn't even ice blocked. He was trying to bait me saying that it's not ice blocked, but there was no way I was not proccing his block there. Um, I obviously do the smaller trades first. Then I can do that and then use a uh, frostbite on the other guy. So, yeah, that, I think that was the right uh, action. Course of action. Anyways, uh, with that being said, we really outplayed him there. I feel like I think I played that game like super fucking well. The call of the coin turn one eel target hits face to play around the rig fair games huge the fact that he never got to trigger that rig fair games in eight turns huge only thing that won me that game um but yeah anyways with that being said how about let's skip the next one and hopefully continue winning i right, guess yeah with that being said i'll see you guys all there ah the mirror match the classic uh classic classic It's actually not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. I would never have guessed we were playing the mirror match. Oh my god. Who would have ever guessed? That was the worst totem to hit. Ideally here is we hit any of the two health totems. I think it's ideal is the deal damage one, the, the buff attack. Um is this way like this is not bad play. That's a really, really good turn two for him. I think this is a solid play here. Doesn't trade into this and he says a second eel. He also has the totem going. Oh, my opponent's so lucky. This is actually not a bad play. Yeah, this is not bad. Not bad at all. Next turn, I have hero power, totem golem, uh, thing from below. We both had both of our uh, thing. Both of these guys. That's that's a really good fucking draw. But I want to start with this. I'm gonna greed here because I have this for next turn. 
which is why I want to greet a little bit. Keep like make sure like this stays alive here. Force him to play something to try and kill it. It's fine. As long as he doesn't, even if he hits taunt, it's fine. This is insanely good here. Yeah, I get this trade. I get this trade actually. That's fine. Next up, we have Amalgam plus Hero Plier plus whatever we get plus Giga Totem, potentially. 21. I need a little bit more damage. That's second eel. This man is just drawing pairs. Straight up only drawing pairs. Hizzle is a very, very, very good card here. I should have done this first. Whoops. I don't want to, I guess this is fine. This is fine. Healing. Healing. Really hoping for healing totem here. Really, really hoping for healing totem. I should have put this on this side. Whoops, that was kind of a misspell on my part. Missed, uh, two damage next turn i would have lethal over just these two but i don't think it matters uh we hit the storm right which honestly just wins games okay easy game a little bit of bm there i don't know if he's max level gives him a little bit more exp and shaman Woo! good win good win Oh, not one shriek. Oh, well. Anyways, uh, that's two dubs. Uh, I guess let's just queue up the next one. Alright, Pirate Rogue. We are technically favored in this matchup. Eel is a very, very good draw. I want to keep both of these, but it's so greedy. Rocket YOLO? Rocket YOLO? <laughs> I went to go play Magic today, which is why I'm recording so late. And quite literally, I was playing 4C Elementals, for those who play Modern Magic. Uh, it is a modern deck that is, one, worth way all too much fucking money. Two is, like, it just puts, like, a whole bunch of, like, the considered best cards in the game. Um, and quite literally, it was the first time I've ever touched the deck, so I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. If I'm being honest, the deck is actually also surprisingly difficult to play. Uh, I wasn't playing the control version, I was playing the actual, um... ha oh. ha. Oh, that's not legal. I think it's correct here to do this. That's huge. I was almost debated playing this, but next turn I have hero power plus this plus that. I have a huge board of decently health minions. Mm. By the way, I hope y'all have a beverage. I'm currently drinking me a nice glass of whiskey. That's an insane start. What in the actual fuck? There's one good buff here for this, and I hope it lands here. Because now I get to trade both of those and they stay alive. Uh, that's really, really bad. Chisel will be the best draw in my deck. Ooh, he only has one mana. That's... Means he has to hit a one drop. He still has no weapon. He's not going to be value out of this. Next time I have the answer to that. Ideally, I draw like Chisel or something. Like That would just be a really, really solid draw for me. I don't agree with that trade at all. What was that? Actually, Storm... Um, I guess I can't even play... Ooh. This changes my play completely. Kill this. I default now. That was so unlucky to have hit that of all minions. The fact that I hit this is so tilting. Oh well. What's the fact to buff this? I was uh, hoping it buffed this. But. Yeah. What can you do? Because now I just have two useless things. Because, yeah, he just pokes here. Pokes there, trades there. That's very unfortunate. Alright. My play here is Crackle Hero Power Thing. Hmm. 
Guarantee kills that. Kept this whole hand based on double thing. Looks like it's working out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Just going back to my uh, story about the magic games this went today. I have quite literally kept... So I played 12 games. I think all my rounds went 2-1 uh, or 1-2. Um, except for one. So I guess 11 games. I kept so many hands, I was just looking at it like, I have two lands and a run at six. Bucky YOLO, one of them's a fetch land, I just hope this lands, if it doesn't, I'm fucked. And, I even kept some one land, just like, I just need a top deck, another land that produces another color for run at six, or else I'm fucked. I, those ones never worked out. Actually, no, one, of the, one out of two, one out of three of them worked out, and then the two landers, all of them worked out, so. That deck is fucking rough to play. Also, I drew way more lands than I should have uh, in those games. Anyways, uh, with that being said, uh, how about let's queue up the next one and let's see how it goes. Alright. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna mull that. I don't think it's that great here. Frostbite is significantly better. Uh, just hero power. I have no other possible play on turn one except for hero power in this matchup. Let's hero power into most likely totem golem. Actually, he can't easily kill this. Might be hero power into this, into this, plus this. That is an angle. I don't like seeing that card. Hmm. I think the right play here is actually to green. Next one have such an impactful turn. If he low rolls, it's actually fucking mental. If that's all he does, I have a really, really impactful turn. Please don't have, thank God. High roll healing totem. I guess it doesn't really matter, but. Well, if anything, that's not bad. Oh, fuck me. That was the worst buff, because it's most likely dead this turn. Have a one health thing or a one attack thing fuck me and if this stole one less health we were so we we're in such a good place but then we could just frostbite that he's delayed by like two turns super far ahead i just hope he doesn't have any real way to wipe the board also like this is a 50 50 now at giving taunt or healing which is what i want right now Ooh, that is one damage actually Very unlucky. If it was healing, I was in a really good... Stop buffing that one. There is four other... Three other minions. Fuck me sideways. Oh, whoops. I'm not supposed to swear anymore. YouTube is being very weird about swearing with all their new rules and shit. Well, you want a totem golem or a thing from below? My guess is totem golem. There's a healing totem. Beautiful. That heals us back up to full health. Oh my god. That thing is... I've never seen that totem get so many fucking buffs. To be fair, like, my... my oh, I was about to say, my board is, like, in a pretty good position where... It's kind of too wide to be... Really fucked that hard. Guess I was fucking wrong. Healing, please. Healing, please. Bro, what the fuck is this game? Fuck me sideways. It's so unfortunate. Healing totem. If I hit double healing totem, I think I'd won the game almost. Sucks that we did not hit that. Hopefully not another board wipe. We do have lethal on board, which is pretty good. Okay. That removes four damage. 
my god, that's... Oh. Interesting angle. That was... Wrong. He stole the right thing. Don't know why he didn't hero power down one of the five attack minions, but... You do you, Chi. You do you. Anyways, um... Next one, I guess. <laughs> All right, another mirror match. Chisel is one of the best cards actually in the mirror match. Also really, really like the devolve. I'm gonna mull the Totemic Surge. Should have arguably also uh, mulled the uh, Flame Tongue Totem. I wanna slam this coin, this on one, especially if he hero powers hits a one one. If he hero powers hits a one one, this is the single best play in my deck. So one in four, and if I hit, I win the game. It's like, I'm pretty sure it would be like a overall like 65% win rate. Woo! Like I would probably just concede this if I was him and I wasn't doing it for recording. That's so, he is so far behind right now. You don't even understand. Especially that I hit Tonk Totem, which means this is just free value. He's going to cry. I'm going to make this man cry through the day he ever picked up this deck. He's never going to play this deck ever again. What am I doing? I'm making this man quit Hearthstone. <laughs> That's fine. Let's generate all too much value. This is... Yeah. My start was... Disgusting. That whole start was only doable because he hit turn one hero part to the one one. Which is the worst one to hit. And I have the single best answer in the game to it. Also, just like that, we're diamond apparently. Good to know. Anyways, um, we have time for at least one more game because that game was so fucking short. I need to stop swearing. The F word is just so built into my vocabulary. Anyways, uh, let's just get the next one and I'm going to try to remember not to swear. Alright. Warlock. Ooh, Anchor Totem. Anchor Totem's such a broken card. This hand is actually all like insanely good. Hero power on one, amalgam on two, anchor plus hero power on three, totem golem plus hero power on four. Only better four drop to draw. It's like if I draw storm red on four, I just win the game almost. Like my hero power just has so much fuck. There I go again. Also, speaking of, <laughs> man, this, this is so dumb. Also, um, getting back to magic, I really need to make a magic content. Like, just straight up, just start making magic content. It's, like, half of what I talk about, I feel like, in my videos. Um, this is just this. Start generating value next turn. But, um... No, um... What was I saying? God. I'm working on building a colorless Eldrazi EDH deck. I know that sounds toxic, to say the least. I, I know that. Don't don't worry. I'm fully aware, and I fully know what I'm doing. Um, I guess technically I know what I'm doing. I'm not really that smart at what I'm doing, but yet both. This is ridiculous. What the hell? How can you have such a good draw? My draw is supposed to be the broken one. Um. But no, I'm, I'm working on building a colorless Eldrazi EDH deck. And honestly, this deck just looks like so much fun. I'm playing, I think, almost every single one of the good Eldrazi's. I quite literally bought the secret, the new secret layer of all the really pretty Eldrazi's. Um, the Reality Smasher, uh, the Thought Not Seer, and the Ulamog, just because I absolutely love the way they look.
Waiting pointless. Protect Ankar Totem. It's really, really important to protect it. It's so, it has so much potential to do so much damage that I think it needs to be protected. Also, I need to start just looking out for lethal. I have so much damage on board right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He's at 21, and I have 16 damage, potentially. Doesn't take much to squeeze in a little bit of extra damage. That's such a good card for him here. Really, really good for him. Let's put two more. Oh, this guy's draw is actually mental. I've not seen a draw this good. Oh well. Well, I guess it's a fair game to lose. I've been crushing. And honestly, it's understandable if I don't win every single game. If this is correct. Maybe I shouldn't play that. Kind of tells him this just gets a free job. Can this thing stop buffing the things that are going to die, please? Oh, that'd be greatly appreciated. But yeah, no, I, I bought that secret layer solely to get those gorgeous Eldrazi's. They're so pretty. Also, the Ulamog cereal box one is maybe my favorite magic card of all time. Maybe. I've yet to get mine. Because, I mean, they finished sale yesterday. But it there is look, there is an above 0% chance that it might be my favorite magic card of all time so cool it's it's adorable uh i hold up let me i want to show what it looks like uh let me let me grab the name real quick uh where is it 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 here it is uh Open image in a new tab. There it is. Sorry about that. I don't want to show other things that I have there because they'll mark on me. But look at this. Look how great this art is. It looks like an old cereal box. It makes me so happy. Like beyond words, that that art singly makes me absurdly happy to a level that it realistically should not. You drew both multi giant, both mountain giants. Oh, uh, that's the actual own target. I can't be mad about that. But yeah, no, this is really unfortunate. Yeah. But no, I once I saw that art, I genuinely thought it was fake. Like, ah, uh, that would be such a sick printing. And then I got confirmation by my brother that it was real. And I'm like, oh, I need it. So I bought two foils and then built Tron solely because I love that art. I built an entire deck, spent all too much money on buying pretty versions of cards, solely to play this one card. It was a dumb mistake, but I love it. Also, everybody at my local, I like my LGS, plays Blood Moon. So, yeah. At least I can have fun casting him in EDH in my Eldrazi tribal deck. There's, there's more than just Eldrazi's, because you have to play, like, Geode Golem if you're playing those, like, the Great Distortion as your commander, in my opinion. Um, Geode Golem, for those who don't know. I mean, fuck it, I'm just doing this. I need to stop. I mean, I, as I've been saying the whole video, I need to stop, sorry. It goes like this Great Distortion, Eldrazi Tribal. You have to play Geode Golem. It attacks and lets you cast them for free. It's really broken. <laughs> but yeah, no, honestly... I'm, I'm super excited to have this deck fully built. I've, I, I started doing it today in class because I have a problem. So I was like playing Hearthstone and making a magic deck. <laughs> I was playing Battlegrounds, played like 10 plus games of Battlegrounds. Well, this man just drew pairs. He quite literally drew all of his pairs. Double Mountain, double Nullshire, double Arson. Like, okay. There's nothing I could realistically have done. His draw, his draw was better than my draw. And I also think this is one of the not favored matchups. Yeah, if 
there is nothing I can realistically draw. Frostbite does not do much, surprisingly. Would have guessed. Is that a card that is designed to prevent people from playing spells does not do much against a deck that is currently beating my dome in with big ass creatures. I just need Pyroblast. Pyroblast and one damage. That's all I need. And I have lethal. I'll never see it coming. Pyroblast in the in the shaman deck. Also, I didn't draw any of my totems. I even got like Okay, I'm just doing this. I'm not beating that. I don't like I think I was way too far behind anyways, but there was no way I was coming back from that. Oh, five and one. Absurdly good record. If you guys want to climb, I can see why this is the best deck. I think Reno and Even Shaman or Reno and Even Lock and Free Shaman are your bad matchups. Free Shaman is almost unexistent. And even if even if you hit the same average that I hit, right? And maybe you maybe you're you lose one of the mirror matches, right? So two and six. Um so you're four and six. You go four in six. Um that's like what, a sixty six percent win rate? You'll hit legend by the end of the weekend. So would definitely recommend it if you just want to hit legend and play a deck that you could kind of just turn off and like watch, you know, my videos or anybody else's videos, movie, TV show. Just play even shaman. You kind of just look at what numbers your cards have and you play them in the incremental order. And um, whenever you have leftover mana, you just press your hero power. It works really well. I mean, that's what I was doing. And I, I mean, as you saw, I went five and one. So yeah, no, the second is really, really easy. Also, um, I have things to collect. I just remember that, uh, which means we can go here first and uh, play a whole bunch of zero cost card apparently. I played, I played, I played all the zero cost cards. 20% XP boost. Let's go. And we have a pack. So we're going to open that. I'm going to save the gold to buy a pack in tomorrow's video. Comment down below any packs you'd like to see. Or if you just want to see me just open some of the old, old packs. Um, I can't even be mad. I've opened so many legendaries in the last like month that genuinely cannot be mad at whatever I open. I just have to be, I, I just have to nod my head and be like, yep, that's, that's fine. Also, I mean, I'm at like 7,000 dust. I can craft anything I want, really. Uh, so yeah, anyways, with all that being said, um, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all in the next one, where hopefully we'll continue on this winning streak. Uh, I do have the bonus star going into top five, or uh, diamond five, which is really, really nice. I believe you end, if you end, like, in the top 500, uh, you get it, something like that. Not exactly sure where I ended, I just know I got it, and I'm fine with that. Anyways, though, with all that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one, hopefully we can get some more dubs, and yeah. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.